Welcome back, Loopring gang, Loopring fam. So, what are we looking at right here? We currently are on the daily time frame. Uh, we do have these like trend lines right here. I'm gonna switch this over to our linear chart real quick. So, actually, you know, let me get this into the four hour as well. So, potentially, what you do have going on right here is your ascending triangle. Uh, you can see you did actually end up breaking through this trend line right here, currently above it. Could potentially have been a fake out. Um, if you do end up breaking below it, your measure move actually gets you back down to about 28 cents 65. If we clone this, and then we end up breaking towards the upside with this, that gets you up to about 44 cents 20 is the high for that measured move right there. Which now switch back to here 44 cents. That gets us up to the high of this fib. And uh, one of the areas that we did mark. So getting up to here, we do have a marked resistance area where we think uh, we could potentially find resistance. If you do end up breaking towards the upside, that being low end of the box, 40 cents 79. High end of the box is at 41 cents 16. Now, uh, another thing that I do want to counter with this is you could still potentially move back towards the downside even if you do get up to here what i would really want to be looking for to safely say although you'd miss a decent portion of the move is if you do end up breaking above this prior high these two back here which the higher one is at about 45 cents 71 uh breaking above there does at least for me is a safe indication that you are going to be taking out the high that we set back in february which was at roughly about 50 cents 49 50 cents which we were able to call this move from the bottom all the way up quite well so as of right now potentially what it very well could be is that you could potentially be in more of a regular flat formation that was your abc actually uh and we are actually getting ready to move back on up and this was your wave two so um, really, that being said, I do actually want to, where is this? We are going to hide that really quickly. I do want to throw on a different fib right here. So we can look at this one. This one, you tag 618. Ended up coming back down. We're back above the 5 level. The only other fib that I do want to see with this is. That's your 618. I kind of like this one a bit better. Um, so, yeah. Currently at the 618, which is at 36 cents 07. Following level is your 786, which is at 39 cents 60. Uh, and then from there, 44, 61. This is one of theirs that I was just mentioning uh volume profile currently right now we are in the heat of selling pressure right here next high selling pressure is actually coming back down to the 382 at 31 cents 63 and then you can see uh pretty much big dip big dip even from about 34 cents 50 all the way down to about 32 cents flat Otherwise, getting past 37.22, there's significantly less selling pressure than that, at least where we are right now. So other than that, kind of where I am looking for for the time being is I need to see a break above, at least on the four hour with the closure above 37 cents, 19, 37 cents, 20, we'll say. Um, and I'll be more likely to say that we do get that move back towards the upside if we end up coming back down and I'm going to say really breaking 34 cents 70 uh, is going to send us back down and we might uh, I'd be leaning more towards that we get the measure move back towards the downside um, and yeah so other than that none of this is financial advice these are all just my thoughts and opinions and you guys have a phenomenal day as always adios muchachos